There is a sweeping debate over swiping in comics, and that is the practice of taking pre-existing poses or compositions and kind of reworking them in your own style or with your own characters. And, you know, the thing is, some of the best artists around throughout history have swiped from time to time. And I don't think it's something we really need to get so worked up about. <laughs> Greetings everyone, welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. I also create comics. I am a comic book enthusiast. I've been reading comics and collecting comics for a long time. And if you're like me, if that's something that you do, then you may have noticed from time to time you might see a swipe. You might see uh, an artist who basically, sometimes it looks pretty blatant at just taking artwork from somebody else. Um, and then a lot of times it's done kind of tongue in cheek or as an homage or whatever. There's different ways to look at it. But uh, but it's a nuanced conversation, and I think a lot of people just get really upset when they see this. And I think you can look a little deeper as to why some people do that. And in 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 many cases, it's probably not something to get too worked up about. Comics have a storied history with swiping. I mean, going back all the way to some of Jack Kirby's early work. I mean, Jack the King Kirby, you can find swipes that he did. And and some of that, you know, some of the swiping is kind of people kind of learning to draw. And then, you know, some of it, there's other reasons for it that I've got to get into. Um, but, you know... It, it's it's not this isn't something new this isn't something in and it's something i think a, a lot of creative professionals or comic book professionals understand and they can see the the reason why somebody might swipe a pose or or a composition or something like that but i mean going back to to wally wood who is probably one of the you know most brilliant cartoonists that that i can think of I mean, he has a quote that never draw what you can copy, never copy what you can trace, and never trace what you can cut and paste down. I mean, and think about that for a minute, because and if you don't understand that, then you you might not be a working comic professional because you may you may change your mind <laughs> once you get into the business. And there is a, a conversation to be had as far as swiping and, and you know why maybe that's not the best practice but but it's a nuanced conversation and there and so if you're just if you're just of the opinion that no swiping you know swiping bad and i think a lot of people that have that hardline stance when they see swiping and that it's you know there's there is no nuance to it it is it's just bad no matter what um many of those people i i and i hate to say it but i think those oftentimes are the less experienced artists that feel that way most people in their profession they can kind of they kind of understand it and they understand the reason why people do it and everything um but you know some people they, they go as far as to even you know you know cancel artists who swipe a pose or two and uh and it's it just like to me if if most and the, th the other thing is most professionals they don't really have time to to create a campaign to go after people that are swiping or whatever they're too busy creating and I think a lot of people that you know maybe want to be artists will spend more time with something something like this like trying to cancel another artist when you know I think your time could be better spent working on your own artwork and improving that and everything but here's the thing, comics are a deadline oriented grind, okay? You know, it's you know, sometimes you need to do whatever it takes to meet a deadline. And you know, sometimes just oh, it's just much I got to get this thing out the door. Uh, I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to trace this particular pose or whatever. And I'm sure there are artists out there that just make a practice of egregiously swiping tons of things. And I'm not that's not necessarily what I'm talking about. I think if you're an artist that's doing that, I think pretty soon it's just gonna, you know, people it's people are gonna gravitate to your work because it's it's not your work. There's nothing original about it. But in most cases, uh, you know, the people are, that are being called out are competent artists who just whether it's a deadline or whatever, or you know, there's also the case of homages, which which I'll talk a little bit about. But you know, I, I you know I had a friend that was like raped over the coals and and pretty much canceled because you know because of a i can't remember it's a background or something that they traced or or it was a pose or something like that and i'm like you know this person has had a youtube channel with 
hundreds of, of hours and examples of them drawing on screen. And you could tell that they were definitely a competent artist, but yet that didn't mean anything. You know, it's like, so I think a lot of it, you know, a lot of it, you have to look at the, the artist's body of work before you just jump to conclusions and like like try to cancel somebody because they they swiped a particular pose and you know in this case of my friend you know she's this wasn't something that, that was good I don't think it was gonna be publishing it's just you know something she was just you know drawing or an exercise or whatever so like I said sometimes it's just like a deadline thing and, and we're talking about like you're talking like uh, comics in the US which has to be done in a monthly basis but if you go to like Japan the production schedule of mangaka is so insane i mean there is a cottage industry of japan which is just pose books and things like that 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 people there that's why they're published so people can take those poses and they can they can trace them and reference them and do all this stuff so i mean there i don't think it's as frowned upon and there's also you know they've got assistants that will come in and and draw certain things and and, and put it under their name you know you don't even know the assistant's name they're just drawing something so and the reason for that is like again it's an insane production if you get to the point where you are good enough to be working professional sometimes you got to take advantage of these some of the other tools and I've you know I've done things like oh I don't have time to draw this car right now so I'm gonna I'm gonna trace this car now granted if I had to I could draw a car I've learned how to draw a car so I'm not when I'm saying all this I'm not saying oh just trace everything yeah, but but you know there's 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 times where uh, to speed up the process or whatever you're gonna have to do that but I don't want to I'm not encouraging you not to learn how to draw I'm saying once you're a competent artist if you know how to draw something um, it, there may be a, there may be a case where okay I got to get this thing done I'm gonna I'm just gonna trace a photo or or trace trace a pose or something like that and speaking of like these pose books and things I mean I even have a I've got a product called the comic the amazing comic book world builder that has it has a bunch of male and female poses that you can use. That's why they're they're in there is for you to use it. It's got backgrounds that you can use and perspective. It's got all these tools and the whole purpose of me creating that kit was to expedite the process for comic book creators to make it make it faster for them to put out comics because there's a lot of work that goes in those comics and that's why some people don't even bother. I mean, you go to a comic convention, so many people are just selling prints because they don't want to you know they don't want to take the time to draw a you know, a, a, a panel, you know, I mean, I mean, a, a, a sequential story or whatever. It's, it's much easier and they can charge more for a print. For a lot of people, comics, the amount of time it takes to do comics is a big turnoff. That's why a lot of people, once they get super established, they're like, I just want to draw covers because it's, 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 a, it's hard work. So you got to kind of give some people a leeway. Um, and you know, that's why sometimes people lead to, to swiping uh, here and there. Now, we haven't talked about homages. In many cases, uh, you know, there's swipes that are that are specifically they're meant to they're they're not it's not like they're trying to hide anything or just like get something done. It's they're paying tribute to a particular like a famous cover or something like that. Well, they do it exactly in the style but maybe with their own characters or, or different characters or whatever. Um, and typically when they do that, they will give the original artist credit. Like it'll be like if I was to do one, it'll say It'll say circling and then they'll say after, say McFarlane or whoever I'm trying to homage there. So that's a big thing, and 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 that one doesn't get as much as much negativity. But you know there may be I'm, there, I'm sure there are people out there that don't agree with that at all either. And and sometimes that can get a little redundant. You see you see a lot of that. And I think most artists uh, will give credit, but like if you're, I guess if you're going to swipe something that's like in the middle of a book, there's really not a place to put credit for. It kind of would disrupt the story or whatever, because you're not, you know, usually as an artist, you'll sign the cover, but you're not, gonna, you don't usually sign every single interior page. So sometimes credit isn't given. In most cases, I think, I think it's fairly harmless. Again, if you're just, if you're making a huge practice out of it, you know, that's probably not that cool, but a lot of cases that's that's not the case you know usually if you look at if you look at a swipe and then you look at that person's body of work it's you know a lot of times you're not finding swipe after swipe after swipe after swipe it's just you know again it may be like a deadline thing or something like that um but as, as far as me unless i'm making a definite homage um i usually don't 
I don't like to, personally, I don't like to swipe something like outright. I, I may look at a pose and like, oh, okay, that's cool. Or look at a couple poses, maybe combine them or whatever. I mean, I definitely use reference and I'll look at other poses or if one pose has a, has a hand that I'm having trouble with, I'm like, oh yeah, I could kind of look at that hand. But I don't, I typically, I mean, some of the swipes you will look at. I mean, it, I can I can see why it raises some eyebrows because it's like, whoa, that's like exactly, you know, there's not even, they didn't even change anything on that. So, you know, I, it, so, in some some ways I can get it, but I think a lot of people are just making a big deal out of something that, you know, it's it's like a practice that's been prevalent in the industry for a long time, and it's not going to go away, um, and it's I really don't think it's something people should be canceled over. All right, those are some of my thoughts on swiping. I'm a little, I think I'm a little more lenient when it comes to some of the swipes and things like that. Uh, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think, it, do you draw like a hard line? Like, oh no, this is, you know, it, it, no matter what, no swiping. We don't want any of that. It's like, this is Door of the Explorer, swiper, no swiping. We don't want that. Or, you know, or do you think, you know, that, you know, there's, there should be more to that. Maybe we're looking at, you know, the artist's body of work. Um, is everything they do a swipe or can they actually draw and from time to time whether there's a deadline or whatever they end up swiping a pose because they're under pressure or who knows the reason why but let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments section I'm anxious to, to read those and, and see what you guys think um, anyway I will see you guys later that is all hey thanks for watching if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit that subscribe button also you can follow me at surfworks on social media and now you can support the work that I do on patreon if you like making comics then go to surfworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.